What is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? And welcome back here today to the most improved rebuild. So for today's video, I have to try to win a championship, and I can only have players that have had a significant improvement in their play in real life. So guys that I could acquire are like Brandon Ingram, Devontae Graham, Jalen Brown, Pascal Siakam, Luka Doncic, Trey Young, Shea Gilgis Alexander. So guys kind of in the MIP race, and I'm also going to be able to use sophomores that were drafted last year that showed improvement through year one to year two at this moment. So to select our team, let's see who it's going to be, and it is the san antonio spurs all right so they don't have anybody on their team that's really improved based off last year's season so if we look at the roster let's see can i even keep anybody maybe patty mills i can keep yeah we could say we can keep patty mills because his three point percentage has gone up his points have gone up um his field goal percentage has gone up so maybe but Derek white probably will have to move Dejounte murray you know what we can keep Dejounte murray He's improved from his year two, and he was hurt all last year. So I think DeJounte Murray we can keep. Bryn Forbes hasn't really improved that much from last year. Lonnie Walker, I would say, has. So I can kind of keep him. Uh, Marco Bellinelli. Eh, but I, you know what? Like, I don't want, literally want Lonnie Walker. I want guys that have improved, that have had definitive improvement this year. Or like Terry Rozier. He's had an improved season. DeMar DeRozan. Got to trade him. Damari Carroll. Definitely got to trade him. Well, Marcus Aldridge, got to move him. Rudy Gay as well. Trey Wiles, especially. And then Yaka Perto will be moving too. So now I got to decide, do I want to trade these guys now or in the offseason? So a guy that I want to trade right now is DeMar DeRozan. Now, a couple guys we could look after is Gordon Hayward. He's definitely improved this year based off last. So I could go after Gordon Hayward or maybe try to get Jalen Brown from Boston. We could try that. Terry Rozier is somebody I could definitely pick up. So we can keep an eye on him. Miles Turner, not as much um, as you would hope. Uh, Blake Griffin, no. Kyle Lowry, no. Kelly Oubre, yeah. We could pick up Kelly Oubre as well. But I think I'm going to try to get Jalen Brown. So let's see. Oh, they can't afford this? Oh, because he's only making 6 mil this year. His contract doesn't kick until next year. Damn. But DeRozan's going to be a free agent. So that's why I kind of want to move him right now. Okay. Uh, Bam is also going to be somebody I'm going to try to get in this video. We might have to wait till the offseason because... Once again, it's just going to be hard to match some of these salaries. Like, we can maybe throw up Derek White, and I'll also give you Brent Forbes. They're not going to do that. Malcolm Brogdon is a point guard I actually might go after. You know what? Could we do DeMar DeRozan for Malcolm Brogdon? The Pacers would acquire two mil more. Okay, you can give me, let's say, Doug McDermott, or who has uh, lesser trade value, McDermott or Holiday. It's about the same. And I'm willing to throw in, hmm, let's see. I will give you Brent Forbes, or I'll give you Derek White. Yeah, so this is a pretty big deal to get this done. DeRozan, White for McDermott, Brogdon, and they don't want to do that. Okay, I don't want to throw on my first. Could I also give you, let's see here. Hmm. I mean, we could try to just offer a bunch of seconds and see if they want to accept that. But, I mean, we might have to, like, re-sign DeRozan in the offseason and then look to trade him. So, yeah, you know what? We'll just keep the team how it is now, and then I'll be making moves in the offseason. All right, guys. So, this Spurs team ends season number one with a 40-42 and 42 record. We didn't make the playoffs in the Western Conference, which is good because then we can try to trade that pick. I'm going to try to get, like, a Shea Gilgis Alexander or Devontae Graham here in the offseason as well. The Bucks beat the Clippers in seven. Giannis is your finals MVP. That could be a future NBA finals this year. All right, so draft lottery. We're probably going to have the 14th pick in the draft. That's what I'm guessing. Actually, okay, 13th. I'll take it. So we are going to have the 13th pick in the NBA draft. So that could be another trade asset. Uh, we're going to obviously bring back Popovich. Uh, we'll bring in, let's see, like Oliver Gordon. Oh, oh no, he wants to be a head coach. We'll bring in Steven Dawkins. Uh, Tyler Richard is fine because he's got an A rating. Uh, we could go after Owen Masters here. Yep, there we go. So let's go to the NBA draft now. It says don't draft Archer Hampton, but injuries are off, so I don't care. Okay, so I'm... Oh, here we go. Jason Tatum has definitely improved this season than he did last year in real life. I don't care about their stats in this game on kind of what they did, but I'm talking about in real life, and I think Jason Tatum has improved. We could try to get Jalen Brown for this, um, but Jason Tatum could be definitely somebody we could pick up. Buddy Hield as well, maybe. Uh, Chris Stops, no. Dinwiddie is also somebody big that we can go after. Um, let's see. Karis Avert, no. All right. I kind of like the idea of getting Jason Tatum and Robert Williams for well, Marcus Aldridge and the 13th pick. Yeah. Especially on the defensive end, Jason Tatum has improved. Robert Williams, no. So I'll have to move him. But all right. We picked up Jason Tatum, which is good. So let's look to move Rudy Gay. Um, I honestly might want to get Jalen Brown as well. Uh, so we could look to see kind of what's, um, the case there. Okay. So not looking great. Some of these offers. I'm going to see what Alexander costs. All right, so Shea Gilgis Alexander, he's going to be hard to trade for. If I gave up Rudy Gay, Derek White, maybe. Oh, the Thunder can't afford that, unfortunately. What about Derek White, uh, the 16th pick, 
And you know what? You could give me... Uh, I don't want really any of these bad contracts. Uh, I wouldn't say... Maybe Dennis Schroeder has improved this year. But he's three stars. So, like, that's obviously not happening. Um, so, yeah. We might have to wait to see until, like, Gojis Alexander gets a bigger deal. Might go after Devontae Graham. Oh, but I want Bam out of bio, actually. Also, Jonathan Isaac could be somebody we go after. So, if I offered you, let's say, Derek White and Rudy Gay for Bam out of bio, will you do this, Miami? No, I will give you a second round pick and you want a center. Can I trade Pirtle? I'll give you Robert Williams. Damn, really? They won't do that? Um, I think we can also give you Damari Carroll. Can you afford that? Okay, so we just picked up Bam out of bio. So, now we have... We have one, two. So, these guys could be our point guards next year. I'm cool with that. Um, we really have to find the shooting guard. Uh, DeRose, uh, DeRozan will be a sound in trade. We have Tatum, but I kind of want Tatum to be the small forward. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and then we have, we need a power forward, but we have our center in Adebayo. We're going to have to find a backup center. So actually, DeMar DeRozan opted in. So, all right. Um, we're going to look to trade him now. I would like, uh, to get Shago just Alexander, but if I can get like Jalen Brown, I'll take that. We could get Devontae Graham. That is somebody I could definitely pick up and he could be our point guard for this video. I'm super cool with that. Um, I don't think I'll be able to trade for Trey Young or any of those point guards. Let's see. Maybe Malcolm Brogdon. You know what? I'm going to try to get Brogdon. And if I can't, I'm going to pick up Devontae Graham. So Malcolm Brogdon is four and a half stars. What? <laughs> Why is he four and a half stars? Oh my God. Give me TJ Leaf. Um, I will give you my first round pick next year. Damn. It's only one and a half stars. Can I trade anybody else? Trey Lyles, ah, they can't even afford it. All right, we're probably going to get Devontae Graham. All right, so I'm going to try to do this trade without giving up a first round pick. I don't think there was anybody else here that I could go. Yeah, um, OG and Anobi could be definitely somebody we could look at. Uh, Fred Van Vliet as well, but I'm going to look to do this trade. I don't want to give up a 2021 20, or 2021 first. I don't want, ah, uh, bro. Uh, can we throw in like, let's see here. Uh, Trey Lyles, or I'll give you Lucas Salmon. There we go. Okay, so we pick up Devontae Graham. So let's see how many guys we have. One, two, three. Hmm, yeah, we need that shooting guard. Oh, I want it to be Shea Gilgis Alexander. Let's see who else it could be. Maybe a guy like Norman Powell could be kind of a cheaper option, but he's making a decent amount of money. Um, if we did trade finder, I'm not giving you Bam. All right, yeah. So what we might do here is like, we want to be players in free agency so we could do sign and trades. Uh, so anybody in free agency, can we afford? We can. Now, I'm not going to say Drummond. Montrezl Harrell, oh, Brandon Ingram is obviously the one guy. I mean, we could offer him a, a four-year deal, but uh, the Pelicans will most likely match it, unfortunately. So, we'll offer it to him. I don't think he'll accept. Fred Van Vliet is somebody we should definitely go after, but he's a point guard. We don't need another point guard. Yeah, maybe, like, Jabari Parker has improved a little bit this season than last year. Marcus Morris Sr. Not a lot of good options here, but, like I said, I'm going to try to sign maybe people and then trade. So, uh, Andre Drummond is probably somebody we should sign and then look to move him. Maybe, I don't know. We can look to see what we can get for Drummond. Uh, Anthony Davis, I, I would say he's improved this year on the defensive end, but I don't think we're going to be able to sign Anthony Davis. Uh, so do we get Andre Drummond? We do, which is sweet. Okay, I actually want to bring back Brent Forbes and Yaka Perto. AD goes to the Lakers and Ingram goes to the Pels, as expected. So I will offer Forbes a deal. He doesn't want to return. Well, that sucks. Okay, so, and neither does Perto. Great. Uh, so let's see what I can get for Andre Drummond. All right, I think I'm going to go after Jalen Brown or Brogdon, but uh, it's probably going to be Brown. So Andre Drummond for Jalen Brown, what's the problem here? The Celtics would acquire 7 mil more than allowed. Hmm, can you give me Tice? I know it's 5 mil, but okay. Uh, this is going to be hard. I'm going to have to throw in some first. Uh, I'll give you my first next year, my first in 2023, and then two seconds, uh, three seconds. Will this get done? Yeah, not happening. All right, even if we trade finder Jalen Brown, uh, I I'm not giving up Devontae Graham, and yeah, there there's no shot I'm doing that. All right, I want to see if I could trade Andre Drummond for Pascal Siakam. That could be something. I'll give you my first next year and my first in 2023, and we will also throw in Lonnie Walker. Mm, and I will also throw in uh, Keldon Johnson. And I will also throw in uh, Jamezi Metu. And now they can't do this great. All right. Um, another player I was thinking of was trying to trade or try to trade for Brandon Ingram. I, I don't think that would hurt. Um, we probably have to play Tatum at the four. So let's see. Could we get a Andre Drummond for Ingram? Not looking likely, unfortunately. All right. I mean, this is the best offer I could do. Drummond, two first round picks. Met to Lonnie Walker, Trey Lyles. For Ingram and Gorgie Zhang, it's not happening. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to go after DeMontis Sabonis. I hope we can get this con or these contracts to work. Could I also maybe steal TJ Warren, who's improved? Uh, probably not. I doubt I would be able to get these three for Drummond. And what about if I threw in a first round pick next year? Mm, and another first. Wait, what's the problem? Excess amount at center. Okay, what about if I trade drum or what about if I tr uh, change 
Drummond's position a power forward. All right, two first round picks, Andre Drummond for Sabonis, Ward, and Sumner. Uh, they'd be losing too much of their backup small forward. Oh, Mike, really? Um, do you still have McDermott? Yeah, can we get this done with McDermott? Um, let's say McDermott and TJ Leaf. Come on, it's so annoying. Um, there we go. Okay, so we got that done. Definitely lost out on some value there. I did. I probably shouldn't have thrown two first round picks. That's my bad. I left those in. I probably could have taken one out um, or taken one out. So we have our power forward and Sabonis. Okay, so actually we have a solid squad. So we have one, two, three. We still need a shooting guard. Four, five, six. Oh, I still need to pick up three players. All right, I'm going to be picking up Thomas Bryant for Doug McDermott and TJ Leaf. I think Thomas Bryant has definitely gotten better this year and has improved. So he'll be, I think, our seventh guy in our rotation. So we still need a shooting guard because I have no idea who our shooting guard is going to be. I mean, what can I get for Trey Lyles and Lonnie Walker? Eric Bledsoe. Uh, I mean, I could pick up Bledsoe and then try to flip him. That's probably our best cause. Your Dennis Shooter has definitely improved, but I need a shooting guard really badly. Duncan Robinson, I guess, but that's not enough value. All right, I'm going to try to trade Lonnie Walker for Duncan Robinson. They want to do Patty Mills and go give me Kelly Olenek. You know what? We'll get it done, but now we got to move Olenek. All right, I have no idea if this is going to be able to work, but can we do Kelly Olenek? Oh, actually, it might work. Kelly Olenek, Trey Wiles, and Isaac Bonga for Kelly Oubre Jr. Mm, I might have to throw in two seconds. Can this work? Okay, and I'll throw in one more player. I can give you Keldon Johnson. Oh, they like Keldon Johnson. Okay, we can maybe get this done with these three. Nope. Okay, what about if I throw in... Uh, Metu, me too, whatever. And I'll give you Edmund Sumner. Please, come on. I don't want to throw on a first. Mm. Take it. Take, just take it. No, I won't. I really want Kelly Oubre, but I'm not giving up Bam, Sabonis, Tatum. Like, no. All right, we're going to head to the free agency market here. And we're going to sign Fred Van Vliet to a three-year deal. We possibly will be moving him if we sign him. And also Evan Fournier. It's, oh, no, Evan Fournier is perfect. Oh, let's pick up Evan Fournier. He's definitely been um, very improved this season. So can we actually get Fournier, please? Oh, that's hype. Oh, let's go. We're going to be able to get Fournier. I'm going to choose Fournier, or Fournier over Fred Van Vliet. So let's sign him. Now, we're about five mil away from signing Van Vliet. So what we could do here is we got to trade Olenek. Uh, could we move Olenek, Trey Wiles, and Bonga for a nice salary dump here? We could save money with Zach Collins, but mm, can I get somebody better for this criteria? No, all right. I'll take Zach Collins on. He might not even play for us. Now let's pick up Fred Van Vliet on a three-year deal. Uh, please tell me he's going to take that. Yep. And we signed Fred Van Vliet. All right. Let's look at the team now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not going to play Zach Collins, but we have nine guys. Let's go to player progression. All right. So here's the player progression. Like we have obviously Graham will be our starting point guard. Maybe we'll be moving him for Shea Gojus Alexander. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited about this team. I feel like maybe Fred Van Vliet and DeJounte Murray, one of them could be moved next offseason, but I don't want to get too ahead of myself or ahead of myself. Sorry for that taking so long. I had to make so many moves there. We do have three untapped potentials though. So I want to see who's not like an A. Uh, let's see. We can get Thomas Bryant, but you know what? I kind of want to use it on Devonte Graham here. Who's now an A potential. Let's see who else is here. Uh, we could give it to Bam. Bam's an A. Who else is an A minus? Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll give it to Bam. He's an A+, plus, and then we'll wrap it off, or wrap it out, giving it to DeMontis a bonus. All right, guys, so here's the minute rotation for next year. We have Graham, Fournier, uh, Tatum, Sabonis, Adebayo is the starting five, and then Fred Van Vliet, DeJounte Murray, Thomas Bryant, Duncan Robinson uh, coming off the bench. So yeah, we could definitely make a blockbuster move next year if we want to maybe go after Pascal Siakam or Brandon Ingram. Uh, we will be pacing space, is going to be our system proficiency, and then we are fourth on NBA.com. We might be a top four seed in the West next year. So there we go. We end season number two with a 58 and 24 record. Frank Neal Aquina gets most improved. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we are the one seed in the Western Conference. We are taking on the Portland Trailblazers in round one. Let's see anybody different on Portland. They do have Kelly Olenek, who is a part-timer, a partial uh, spur. Yeah, he was here for, what, two minutes in the offseason. They've added DeAndre Brembury. Trey Jones. So Jason Tatum led us in scoring about 20 points a game, five rebounds, almost two assists over a steal game and shot 45 from three. I'll take that. Uh, Evan Fournier, 19 points, shot 50, 46, 83. That's good. That's good. He had a true shooting percentage of 63%. Uh, Demontis Abonis, Domas had 16 and a half and 11. I'll take it and shot 34 from downtown. Devontae Graham, 15 and a half points, eight and a half assists and shot 42 from three. He's going to get paid. 
Uh, Fred Van Vliet, 13 points, 5 assists, uh, 45, 44, 84 splits. Those are good. Um, there's Bam, 13 and 10, 2 and a half assists. DeJounte Murray, uh, Duncan Robinson, and Thomas Bryant. Duncan Robinson shot 52 from 3. Yeah, I'll take that in Jesus. Bryant's numbers were not very good. Uh, so let's get here into the playoffs. We're taking on the Trailblazers in round 1. And it's looking like we are moving on to round 2. We beat them in 5. But now, we got to take on LeBron, AD, and the Lakers. Added Willie Cauley-Stein, Josh Jackson. Probably going to beat us. Um, but I do have hope. And we do it in 7. Let's go. We beat the Lakers in 7. Who's balling out for us in the playoffs? Who's balling out? Devontae Graham. 21 points, 8 assists, and shooting 52 from downtown. Yeah, he's a beast. Uh, Tatum Fournier doing their job. It's a bonus out of bio getting the rebounds. And we're moving on to the Western Conference Finals to take on the Minnesota Timberwolves. So, Timberwolves got Jeff Teague, Andrew Wiggins, Rocco, Patrick Williams, and Kat. Akoji, uh, Collison, Robert Williams, Markel. Who did we trade to them for? Oh, no, no. We traded him for, uh, I believe, Duncan Robinson. And it looks like they moved uh, Robert Williams to Minnesota. So, can we go to the NBA Finals? Oh, we sweep them. All right. And we're taking on the seven-seeded Magic, who don't even have Evan Fournier. They have Isaiah Thomas, Ross, Isaac, somebody I could have looked to trade for. Um, it sucks that he's out for the year. It literally sucks. Um, Aaron Gordon, Nikola Vucevic. Uh, ooh. They had the second pick in the draft, and they took Wiseman. All right, Mo Bamba. They have so many big men. All right, let's see how this goes. We win game one. We lose two unanswered. Oh, jeez. Do not go down three to one to this map. We beat the Lakers, but we're down three to one to this Magic team? I don't get 2K Sim. I, and watch this be the closest I'll get to a championship in this video. All right, can we force a game six? There we go. Thank you, Tatum. I don't want to... I'm not going to edit the rotation, but let's just force a game seven. Good first quarter. What is that second quarter? Abysmal. It's abysmal. All right. Close this out. Close this out. Game seven. Devontae Graham. The Evan Fournier revenge game. Yes, Tatum with a huge game. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see it. All right, game seven. Come on. No, don't get blown out. Let's go. Love that second quarter. Love that third quarter. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on. We're going to win the NBA Finals. Let's freaking go. But yeah, Devontae Graham currently in the game. He's got 21 points and five assists. All right, Jason Tatum's in. It looks like we also have Fournier and Fred Van Vliet is in. Okay. Uh, so no Bam, but I think Bam is subbing in. So let's just... Uh, Devontae Graham. I don't know why he doesn't have the headband. That's annoying. Uh, screen from Tatum. I keep forgetting where the Spurs... Oh, alley -oop to Fred Van Vliet. Okay, Isaiah Thomas driving. Isaiah Thomas get, somehow gets that up without getting blocked. All right, let's run it. Uh, kick it to Evan Fournier. Evan Fournier. Oh, he's going to hit this. He's too good. He's too good. Evan Fournier from downtown. All right, we just get a steal. Let's kick it up to Fred Van Vliet. All right, I kind of want to go to Tatum here. Tatum, roll. There we go. Oh, out to Fournier. Evan again. Evan from downtown. Oh, that would have been nice. So the finals MVP is Devontae Graham. 18 points, 8 assists, and we win it all in year two. We're going to go for year three. I'm going to just try to make this team maybe win 60 games. I think the only people I'm going to try to go after in this offseason is either SGA, Jalen Brown, Siakam, or Brandon Ingram. Uh, I don't think we have any picks here. Yeah, I cheated away basically every pick. It's going to go to the Pacers at 30. I'm guessing that was from the Sabonis deal. All right, so let's go to team player options here. We probably have a lot to uh, accept. No, just Keldon Johnson, Edmund Summer, sure, because I might throw him in a trade. Uh, so we might have, oh my god, yeah. We're, we might have to, like, trade somebody now. Okay, yeah. We have a lot of free agents that we are going to have to resign. Any unrestricted free agents? No. Okay. So, these are all restricted. Now, I want to see what uh, Gilgis Alexander will cost me at this moment. Because I really want SGA. Um, I don't think I can get it done with, like, Van Vliet, DeJounte, and DeJounte Murray. Um, we could try, though. And we could throw in every first round pick we own. Um, let's see if that works. There we go. Okay, so we pick up SGA. I don't know. I, I really wanted SGA for some reason. So we have one, two, uh, three, four. Okay. So we're going to have to sign, what, like five guys here? Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Okay. So let's see what happens after day one. Anybody get signed yet? Nope. We are not reannouncing the rights on anybody. So don't. I'm bringing everybody back. Uh, Bam's going to get a deal from the Jazz. 
we are going to match that. Let me just make sure we're not reannouncing the rights on anybody else. All right, so we get Bam back on a three-year deal. Uh, Tatum takes a deal from the Clippers. We're going to match that as well. Um, so welcome back. Now, let's see. Uh, let's give Devontae Graham a five-year deal. Let's give uh, Duncan Robinson a three-year deal. Let's give Zach Collins a three-year deal. All right, so I'm signing Patrick Mills because I'm going to try to get a backup point guard. Um, and he'll be the ninth man in the, in the rotation. And that is Terry Rozier. So I want to see if I can get it done now. He does have a big contract. But what about if I offer Keldon Johnson? We're going to offer a lot here. Zach Collins. We're going to offer Patty Mills and then Edmund Sumner. Um, and we're going to see if this will go through. So let's see. And it does. So we have our nine. It's one, two, three, four. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, guys. So here's the rotation. We got 30 to Graham. I'm actually going to go 31 to Graham here. 29 to SGA, 34 to Tatum. Uh, you know what? We'll go 32 to Graham, sure. And then we got 30 to Sabonis, 31 to Adebayo. We got 29 to Fournier off the bench, 21 to Rozier. 20 to Bryant, 15 to Duncan Robinson. Season proficiency, pace and space is now four stars. That's huge. And then our season or our preseason power king is third on NBA.com. Let's go for the repeat this year or the two peat. So we end season number three with a 64 and 18 record. Pop gets coach of the year, which is sweet. Uh, so we're taking on the Lakers in round one. All right. So it's D Rose and LeBron again. Um, Anthony Davis, Kendrick Nunn. All right. They have a lot of point guards. So here are the stats. Jason Tatum was our highest scorer. So we had five guys above 16 points. It's pretty good. Um, Devontae Graham averaged almost 10 assists tonight. He shot 46 from downtown. SGA shot 40 from downtown, 18 and 5. Uh, Evan Fournier was almost 50, 40, 90 again. Uh, Tatum was really efficient. He was almost 50, 40, 90. Even Bam Adebayo shot 32% from downtown. So I'll definitely take that. So let's go and win the finals again. Round one against the Lakers. We're moving on in five. Nuggets, Murray, Oladipo. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice signing. That's a nice signing. All right. Nah, I don't know if we're going to beat that team. That's a... I knew it. I knew it. I don't know why, but I had such a bad feeling about that series. And we lose to the Nuggets in five. Which is a disappointing way to end the season. Demonta Sabonis was our leading scorer in those first uh, eight games. Don't know how I feel about that. He's 92% from the line. Okay. Um, there's SGA. Maybe I should have just kept the team the same. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But yeah, Tatum shot 17% from three. Not very good. All right. It's whatever, though. I'll take I'll take it. At least we won the finals last year. Dude, the Nuggets end up winning it all. And they don't. They lose to the Bucks in seven. Giannis is your finals MVP. So yeah, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the most improved player rebuild. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And if you have any other rebuild suggestions, that is going to be for me. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.